De algemene vrije en geheime verkiezingen, welke zijn gehouden op 25 mei 2020, zijn transparant en efficiënt verlopen. Dit heeft de CARICOM Electorale Observatie Missie onder leiding van Dora James, supervisor van de verkiezingscommissie van Sint Vincent en de Grenadines kenbaar gemaakt tijdens een persconferentie in Royal Ballroom Terrarica. De mededeling is gebaseerd op de observaties die waarnemers de in verband met de verkiezingen hebben uitgevoerd. De CARICOM Electorale Observatie Missie vertoeft sinds 18 mei 2020 in Suriname voor observatiewerkzaamheden. De Surinamese were eager to vote. They came out in large numbers. And that was a sign of how the whole democratic process unfolded. Additionally, we observe the issues of persons who did not collect their invitations and how the, the methods were done in terms of them getting their, their invitations and ensuring that they were properly identified to accept the, the participation in voting. So we commend the staff. There are times when persons were a little wary of the long lines, but sometimes based on the activities that, that took place, we kind of understood why. Um, a little bit back on the COVID situation, Serena must be applauded. I know that they were in lockdown and just two or so days before the election, they were able to, to come out freely. There was no curfew. And it was amazing I, um, to see that they braved whatever it was to come forward and participate. And so we need to say to the health authorities and all those persons who played a part in ensuring that the security, the safety of the people of Suriname was held in high esteem, was, um, we need to applaud them. They need to take kudos for that. And the closing of the poll, um, we recognize that the law says that you must, um, the poll would open at seven and it would close at seven. And just about the time of the close of poll, there was a change, and that caused a little uneasiness. However, persons were able to come together and to accept the changes based on the number of persons who were still on the lines waiting to vote. The procedure for counting went smoothly, and although we were a little bit tired, we had to go into the wee hours of the morning we recognized that there was a job to be done, and we did it. So we stood our ground, and we were able to observe the closing of the polls and the counting of the votes in the various polling stations that we witnessed. We found the procedure, that the, the procedure was followed, and at the end, we believe that the results that would be given would reflect the will of the people of Suriname. When we were at, when we asked, we were told that there were a number of persons who were still in line waiting to vote and that they were giving them the, the opportunity to do so. And in relation to our objective, we had our mission, the overall world is observed. We had no authority to make any decisions or anything like that. We observe the process and we speak to what the our observation told us. Um, if we were to go back to the issue of, of the long lines, as I said, when we look at the measures that were put in place for the coronavirus um, safety of the, of the people, we felt that the process was, yes, indeed, a, a little bit slow, but you appreciate the fact that a number of precautions had to be taken to uh, ensure that the people voted in a safe and healthy environment. We had one incident um, where one of our observers observed the, the fact that there was a mix-up in, in, in the, what do you call it, not the national ballots, the, the district, those are the district. 
but as in his words, they, it was clarified and persons were, were uh, given the opportunity to continue the process. From our observation, I find Sivinam did extremely well. They, they were the testing the ground, they broke ice, and um, they were able to show us. For example, they, there was the, the person at the door who greeted the, the, the participants, the, those who came out to vote, they were sanitized. We also had the fact that the boots were sanitized. They changed pencils for everybody, and, and that was amazing. I find that there was substantial resources in terms of getting um, the, 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 the process um, organized. One of the reasons why we went to the outdoor out districts was the whole concern of the, of the persons who raised issues in relation to fraud, and they, they particularly said that they thought much of it would be um, done in the, the out districts. And that is why we took the decision to go to the out districts so that we can see for ourselves. Some of it was, was pre-work, the whole structure, the planning and all of that, and, and the, the remainder was done on election day. Because you recognize that Suriname is a big place and our team was small. But we wanted to make sure that we have coverage enough so that when we speak, we can speak to, to, to facts and speak with authority. We met with the anti-fraud platform, which is a, a coalition of a number of the opposition parties focused on the issue of fraud. We met with the a national observer team that has been put together by the pri primarily the private sector. We met with um, the religious leaders, a team representing the various religious faiths of, of Suriname. And we listened to all, that, all concerns that they raise pertaining to possible fraud, all concerns. And they had many concerns, including that the COVID-19 um, regulations would be used um, to intervene in the election process, to, to postpone the holding of the election, to postpone the counting of votes. They had a multiplicity of concerns and we listened very carefully. We took note of all their concerns and we assured them that um, based on what they were telling us, we would be um, very clear about um, observing as much as possible, being guided by the concerns that they raised with us. And we can, all we can tell you is, um, in our observation of the election yesterday, um, the process was extremely transparent. Um, there were multiple checks in the system. Suriname has um, a system that is based on multiple checks, including the presence in every polling station of um, agents of the Independent Electoral Council. Um, the counting of the vote is extremely transparent with party agents and even members of the public um, scrutinizing the, the ballot papers. And, what we, and, and throughout the day, we were constantly asking um, agents of the OKB, the Independent Electoral Council, um, representatives, agents of the various political parties, how were, was the process going? And we got very positive reports that things were efficient, things were transparent, things were going well. So all we can tell you is based on our very extensive examination of the process yesterday and last night, and bearing in mind that we covered some 120 polling stations in four different electoral districts, we did not find any evidence of electoral fraud. That is based on our observation yesterday. Thank you.